hold on to, you know, things forever and, you know, harbor on them. You could just let things go. So that's why I came up with this idea of this show. Like how many people are working? Everybody's talking about emotional intelligence these days. So I just wanted to know if you all were working on your emotional intelligence. And of course, I'll leave the same poll at the end of this show. And don't forget, you can leave comments that I'll be able to reply to. So anyway, I want to tell you all 15 size signs of high emotional intelligence. So let's see if this is you here. You create and maintain networks. You're open-minded and receptive to new ideas. You're self-motivated. You effectively manage stress and setbacks. You handle criticism constructively. You provide a vision that provide that motivates others. You provide a vision that motivates others. You're honest and transparent. You can share worries and concerns. You understand others' perspective. You provide feedback effectively. People feel relaxed working with you. You're a good listener and you stay calm under pressure. You articulate your points clearly. You can settle disputes and misunderstandings. So where are you with those 15 signs? I think I could, maybe about eight of them, I think, and there's a few more I have to work on. <laughs> so maybe eight I have down pack and the other seven I have to work on. I'm self-motivated most days. Um, I can create maintain networks, yes. I'm open-minded and perceptive to receptive to new ideas. Yeah, most ideas, not all, but yeah, I'm definitely open-minded. And um I manage stress and setbacks effectively. So yep. And I uh, handle criticism constructively working on it. I I'm I've gotten a lot better. And um I provide a vision that motivates others. I think this self-love thing, definitely. And you can share your worries and concerns. Not too much. I need to work on that. Definitely, I'm honest and transparent. And um, I try and understand others' perspective. I always try and look at it from someone else's point of view, so for sure. And uh, you provide feedback effectively. I think so. People feel relaxed working with you, for sure. I'm a good listener, but I know I interrupt a lot. And I definitely stay calm under pressure. And you articulate your points clearly. I'm working on that, trying to get better so I could really be high emotional intelligence. And uh, you can settle disputes and misunderstandings, most definitely. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not as far off as I thought, but, you know, where are you all standing with that? Are you able to control your emotions? Let's uh, further get into this. Um, emotional intelligence. EI is a lifelong practice that can be developed and improved over time. Some skills that can improve EI include self-awareness, understand your emotions, strengths, weaknesses, 